Hi, I'm Steve, and it's, 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 it's been a year. Uh, but hey, look at this. I've got, you know, the room is done three months later. It's been more than three months, but I've been, you know, like in a rut, so to speak. Uh, much like most other people, what with the raging pandemic and the horrible, sad state of the world and the country. But, you know, everything's been alright. Like, you know, everything's fine. Now, I recall in the year 2016, everyone was like, oh, this is the worst year ever. And back then, and still today, I'm not really on board with the whole blaming what year it is on everything bad that's happening. That's just kind of how it happens to be. But this year was especially hard, I will say that. From the worldwide pandemic, to the worldwide racial unrest, to the seemingly worldwide fires, and an election that, you know, was, for lack of a better word, I don't even have one. Insane. But, I would like to focus on some of the good that happened this year, because there is some within the bad. If you are like me, uh, it's difficult to focus on the positive. It really, truly was, especially this year. But this year, it was especially important to look at the positive. So, I'd like to share just some of the good things that happened this year, now that it's almost finally over. In January, it seemed that Australia was set on fire, which was unfortunate, but many people came together, they donated, they volunteered, they helped to save some of the animals, save some of the people, save some of the homes, and just come together and just make that situation, that horrible, sad situation, not as horrible and sad as it could be, thanks to the help of just regular people from all around the world. Through February, March, and April, global emissions around the world were lowered substantially, meaning that there is less uh, carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases being emitted into the atmosphere, which is a good thing. Also, in that time, amid the quarantining and the shutdown of pretty much the entire world, lots of people found new ways to reconnect with people and just connect with people that they couldn't see anymore through like internet and Zoom and online chats and things like that. So there was lots of people reconnecting and finding new ways to communicate, which is very nice to see. It was also a time where we were all reminded what's really important and that is the frontline workers, the healthcare workers, and the essential workers, and not the billionaires. It is, in fact, regular people that keep the world working, not just a couple of rich fat cats in their nice, fancy, you know, penthouse apartments. But, you know, that's besides the point. In May and June and throughout the summer, thousands of people from around the world and across the country, especially in the United States, came together to stand up against the unjust killing of George Floyd and just came together for the Black Lives Matter movement amid the pandemic. Masks adorned came together to stand up and fight back. I went to a few of the protests. It was a surprisingly moving experience. It was good, it was eye-opening, and a lot of people learned a lot of things, uh, myself included. In June, the Supreme Court ruled that no one can be fired for being gay or transgender in the United States. In November, a record-shattering number of people voted in the U.S. presidential election we handily and fairly defeated the worst president in the history of time that is pretty much guaranteed fact at this point. I mean, it's just my opinion, but also there's a lot to back that up. And we defeated him, and he is on his way out, and God willing, there's a vaccine on the way! In December, a vaccine came for the COVID-19, the pandemic that is still going on and taking thousands of lives every single day, every day. So you really, really had to look in some cases. Uh, but there, there were a lot of good and positive things that happened in 2020. I hope you all had some good and positive things happen to you in 2020. I, for one, had a self-discovery journey, sort of. Uh, and that's all I can say. I hope you all have a happy and safe 
end of your year and holiday season. Thank you for watching. Uh, make someone smile today. I hope you smile today. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!